Hey everyone, welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection. My name is Nick Harris and I am a Senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Today's session will provide you an introduction for the wide variety of functionalities available in Microsoft 365 Copilot, specifically part of the $30 license available for our enterprise customers. We'll navigate you through the most popular and powerful features available built into application experiences like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Teams, and Outlook. By the end of this video, my hope is the educational materials provided will provide value to each and every one of you to assist with your everyday work. So let's go ahead and get started. So in Microsoft Word, we'll review three core areas of functionality that we see many customers using to create value within their work today. Specifically, that's with getting started initially drafting your documents, rewriting text and information within your documents, and understanding the data that exists within those documents as well. As you see up at the very top, I have the Copilot prompting box. And what I can do is I can begin to describe the type of document that I want Copilot to draft for me. I can have it do the heavy lifting and mundane work that I do not want to do and have it give me a first draft to start with what I want to accomplish. So let's start off, let's give it an initial prompt. Draft a one page project proposal. And the reason why I really like Word as well is because you receive prompt suggestions. Each and every one of you are learning how to prompt and become more detailed in the type of information you feed these AI assistants to perform your task work. And Word is a great way to learn. It provides you prompt suggestions aligned to the information you're typing in, so you can directly leverage that information to be more detailed without having to critically think all of the time. So it looks like it's representing a community garden. In that case, I'm gonna feed it a little bit more information and it will update its suggestions to align to the particular information I require. So just updating the prompt a little bit here, you see uh, draft a one pager project proposal about a new product we're announcing called the XT2000, a new smart thermostat and the prompt suggestions have updated. So I'll just include a few of these. There we go. And then of course, if I wanted to include any additional work data, I could click on the add content option to reference data that exists within my work enterprise, SharePoint, OneDrive, Exchange email, Teams meeting content, so on and so forth. And of course that's very valuable because Currently today, when you draft files, Copilot does not go and search your enterprise automatically to pull data and then include it in the write-up. Those updates should be available later on this year, but for now, it's leaning on data that it's trained on. So you would have to make modifications if you need to include work data, or you could then again reference work data in your prompt so it has that information available. Now, after just a few seconds, Copilot has created, it's not quite a one pager, it's about two pages worth of information aligned to my prompt. I would read, I would review, and then make modifications as I require. I can have it rewrite. I can feed it additional contextual details for modifications to make, and then it would automatically rewrite for me. In this case, I'm just going to elect to keep it, and then I can do some additional updates, such as maybe, for example, I want to modify this market impact section. I can select single sentences, entire paragraphs, multiple paragraphs, and then click on the Copilot button. This is where we can rewrite. We can have it automatically rewrite or make it shorter or more formal or get coaching advice, or we can feed it again what modifications that we want to make. In this case, I'll just auto rewrite really quickly, and it should generate three drafts of that particular information that I could read and review and then either insert it below for comparison or directly replace in line and then move forward in my work. We also have built into the Office app experiences, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, OneNote, so on and so forth, the ability to chat with Copilot. So in the top right hand corner, I can click on the ribbon bar so I can talk to Copilot about data that exists in this particular file. And so usually what I like to do here is either ask targeted questions or even have Copilot generate targeted questions for me. Normally when I'm starting my day, I might not want to critically think and I might be going into a new file that could be hundreds of pages worth in length. And I'll just have Copilot generate questions aligned to that document content that I could start asking 
to get more tailored and detailed information back based on my needs. So as you see, based on my role as a marketing specialist, provide a list of discovery questions about the data that exists in this file. We'll send that off. And now Copilot has generated output for discovery questions that we can look at and say, hmm, maybe I do want to know that, or maybe I do want to understand uh, how does it appeal to environmentally conscious users and businesses. Well, I can just take the questions, copy them out, paste them in and ask those targeted questions so I can get that information more quickly and move forward with what I'm doing. And there we go. Now, moving on into PowerPoint, we have the ability to start our presentation creation. And again, this is especially useful to save you a ton of time. Who likes to start from scratch creating presentations these days? I know I don't. So I like to click on the Copilot icon. And when I have existing work data, I love to reference by referencing the particular files of information I want the presentation to be created on. I do a lot of research in Word or with Copilot Business Chat. And then I'll use that research to generate presentations within my flow of work. I could also just start from a prompt if I so choose. In this case, let's just take that previous file, the XT2000 Smart Thermostat 1 pager, and let's generate a presentation based on the data and information that was included within that file content. The Narrative Builder experience then builds the overall structure of our presentation. We can see clear sections and slides, as well as, again, citations built in so we know exactly where that data feeds from. If we want to include additional sections of information, we can also prompt it to include additional topics, such as maybe I want an additional topic around uh, the key benefits of using smart home technologies. And I can submit that off. I could have also referenced another file within my organization if I had research data available to me. Now you see we have an additional topic. Maybe I want to move it around a little bit. I can move it around. Uh, in this case, we'll just leave it there. Estimate 16 slides being generated, and let's click Generate Slides. The Narrative Builder experience then builds the overall presentation aligned to that particular structure. We'll see the slides start to... Uh, create within this preview based experience. You'll see the data being input. It will generate speaker notes and information all aligned to that file that we were referencing as well to get us a first draft presentation started more quickly within our flow of work. And so now we can see the presentation's been generated and we have 19 slides that have been created for us. We can review those, elect to keep it or start over if we don't like it overall. We have clear organization and sections of data. Let's go into the smart home technologies area. Oh, you know, this is very blank type style design. Use designer, use the design suggestions, add different designs and templates directly in. Uh, let's just click on this design right here. It's got a movable graphic and there we go. We can now have this sort of interactive style slide. Here is like the starting slide. We can review slide information. We can directly click on slides and select materials. There will be rewrite capabilities built into PowerPoint in the not so distant future. What I like to do though, because it's not quite available for all customer experiences yet, is use Copilot to help me rewrite via the sidebar. So I can say something like, assist me in rewriting these core topics to be more engaging. And then all I've done is copied and pasted the key points from the slide directly in the prompting box here. And we'll let Copilot in the sidebar experience rewrite that text and give it back to us. There we go. Now maybe I don't like the format of that. I could say make the points more concise and in a bullet list format. And now we have a different format. I could then copy that material, paste it back into the slide. There's many different ways you can use this sidebar based experience. I can also find images that I want to directly align to the slide content. Maybe I don't like this particular image here showing some form of smart thermostat. Now you can see, find an image that focuses on smart home devices. It gives me recommendations. This is directly pulled from the stock image library that we make available in Microsoft 365 app experiences. I could select and insert that particular image onto my slide if I so choose. And there we go. Now we have it directly inserted into our slide with a slightly different slide design. So we have some information there. We can also create AI images directly in this prompting box. And so here's our prompt, create an image showcasing a futuristic smart thermostat. And as we see, the AI has now created its own images that we can then directly place within our slides as well. So I can select, I can insert, 
have Copilot add that image on my slide, and then leverage Microsoft Designer to change the overall design and incorporate the images in the ways that I require. So you have two, well, I can delete this one, and then have it reincorporate the designs here, reselect the slide template that I specifically want, and bam, there we go. We have an awesome slide at our disposal. You can add slides, you can ask questions about all of your enterprise data, you can pull information from SharePoint, OneDrive, email content directly into that chat experience so you can stay in PowerPoint, grab the information you require, and move forward with your work in a much quicker and easier way by having the AI automate those tasks for you. It's awesome. So cool. All right, so let's go ahead and briefly talk about Copilot in Excel. And as you see, I have a ton of sales data directly available on my screen. And I like to think of Copilot in Excel like an Excel encyclopedia. It has access to all the help knowledge in Excel. I can ask it about keyboard shortcuts that would be valuable for me to uh, become more efficient when working with Excel. I can have it generate column formulas, visualizations, pivot charts and tables, so on and so forth in order to move forward and understand that data insight and analysis to my requirements. So let's just prompt a little bit here. So as you see here, what I've done is I have asked Copilot to create a scatter plot based on cost of goods sold versus profit to show that particular relationship, columns K and L within my worksheet. It's directly created that particular chart. I can then add it directly into my worksheet to further visualize that data. I can also generate conditional formatting rules to color code my data to further visualize information that exists within this table data set. For example, maybe I want to add a color gradient. So for my prompt, apply a color gradient to the profit column with a red, yellow, green scale, with red being less profit and green being more profit. You can change the colors as well. You can pick and choose the particular colors that you require. I then get a preview of that particular conditional formatting rule. I can apply it directly against my data. And now we should see column L for profit has the conditional formatting rule automatically applied for my review. Now, another prompt that I love to use is the ability to gain data insights within my data set. In this case, I'm going to say add all insights to grid and let Copilot in Excel work its magic. And now what Copilot in Excel has done is it's taken all of that insightful information from my table data set and created a ton of charts and pivot tables aligned to that information so I can keep track of what exactly is happening and further visualize all the insightful data at my disposal. All of the charts, pivot tables at the bottom, rich information. Now moving on to Outlook Copilot, the ability to draft messages, the ability to summarize data within those email threads, as well as the ability to get coaching advice with Copilot to modify the way you communicate to become more impactful and align your language to your core audiences is amazing. So let's just take a look. As you see here, I have an email thread between myself and Corey Gray. And maybe I want to respond to Corey drafting an initial message saying thanks for his support, as well as acknowledging the current compliance issues that we have and giving Corey some timelines on when those will be resolved. Replying to his email, I have the Copilot button directly built into my email experience. I'll click on draft with Copilot and I'll say thank Corey for his assistance and support on this project and indicate we are actively working through the compliance issues with legal in hopes to have those resolved in the next two weeks. Copilot then drafts the initial first draft that we can review. Of course, just like any other writing experience, we have the ability to provide feedback on what we want to modify and change in order to create a richer email write-up at our disposal. So that's very useful for us. If, for example, I'm not looking to really draft initially, but instead summarize and understand what's happening, imagine those scenarios where you're added 10, 20, 30 emails deep into an email thread, I can click on the summary by copilot option to get that initial summary of data from that email thread. That helps me get started in the flow of the conversation more quickly without having to read everything. Finally, in relation to modifying our overall language, I've redrafted a response here talking about some timelines. 
and maybe I want Copilot to provide me some coaching advice. I can click on the Copilot icon here up in the top right hand corner and select coaching. This will have Copilot evaluate the overall email draft that I've generated and then provide me information based on tone, reader sentiment, clarity. We can review all of this data in detail, the recommendations that Copilot has made. And if we like what it's provided, we also have the ability to apply all of these recommendations to our email and have the email redrafted for us. There we go. Now we have the redraft. We can read and review and replace or insert a copy below. And there's our email draft. Now we can send this off for our needs. Now, when it comes to Microsoft Teams meetings, Copilot, Microsoft Teams is the number one Copilot experience that's used by our enterprise customers today. There's a lot of rich value that Teams Copilot gives you. Imagine scenarios before AI. If you were like me, I would be taking copious notes. I'd be constantly writing while trying to listen to my customers or clients or peers. And it's difficult to take all the notes that you need whenever you're performing multiple actions simultaneously. Instead, now today, I enable Copilot during my meetings. As long as you have a transcript available or possibly use live transcription capabilities, you can use Copilot built into the live meeting as it's going on, or with the transcript, you can reference that meeting information after the meeting has finished. So this is an example where I have a meeting that's already taken place, and I want to talk to Copilot about the data and detail that exists within that meeting discussion. I can go to the meeting summary under the recap tab, and I can click on the Copilot icon in the top right hand corner, and then I can talk to Copilot as a general AI assistant about all the data that exists within that meeting. So I can do things like click on more prompts, and let's just go ahead and generate our meeting notes. Now we'll have Copilot look through all of that meeting content and understand all the key topics that were reviewed, along with any particular action items that have been identified. Within those action items as well, you would have key responsible parties for who is aligned and accountable for that action item, which is fantastic for all of you. But also again, consider the fact that if I was using this during a live meeting, maybe I join in on the meeting halfway through, not really sure what's going on. I don't have to disrupt the flow of the meeting. I can click on the option, to recap the meeting so far and get all that data in detail and then move forward in the conversation with my peers or my customers. I can also ask targeted questions. I can ask it information about things like in this case, list the key points about renewable energy solutions in a table or summarize the benefits of AI implementation in one sentence. This would lean on the data that exists within this particular meeting to then give us valuable input back. And there we go. That's all aligned from the transcript. And I'm doing this constantly. I'm live collaborating with my peers and my customers, and I'm generating new data that I send back to them in real time without having them wait for information. As a great example, just the other day, I generated a full training agenda. We had talked about with my customer all the particular training topics that they wanted to include. And then I had Copilot generate that entire agenda within the live meeting and copied and pasted it directly in the meeting chat for their review. Instead of, you know, in past days, it would have taken me probably 30 minutes to an hour to uh, accumulate all that information and then send it an email back to them and have to wait. Now I can do more of this work in real time. So some amazing ways that you can directly leverage the various app experiences with Copilot that exist today. Microsoft is constantly making new innovations and updates within these AI experiences. So while they look the way they do today, they could be even different here as we move forward into the future. So that's all for me for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for your time as always. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Please feel free to comment in the comment section below if you have any feedback for me or questions that you'd like to ask. Always happy to help all of you out. But that's all for me for today, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.